Today I'm going to share the most brilliant idea I have seen in a long time. It has to do with uh, countertop in your kitchen area. And this is Larry. Larry lives in Yorba Linda. Yes. Which is about 27 miles away. And he comes down to Dog Beach frequently. So he said he'd swing by and show me his, his new table that he made for mm -hmm. his kitchen area. It solves a lot of problems for a lot of people. Because Pleasure Way, uh, a couple of years ago, no, maybe... Yeah, maybe two, maybe the last two models, they have removed that front pop-up table uh, that comes at the end of the countertop. And yes, they did. you solved it. Thank you. How long have you had your rig? We've had it uh, just a little over a month. And the reason oh. they took out the uh, tilt-up countertop is because you have that beautiful 10-inch screen there right now. Yes. Yeah, and they, uh, yeah, but he figured out how to solve that one too. Okay, let's go inside the van. Okay, so the first thing John noticed was the screen beautiful large screen. It's uh, really well done. But this was the problem. They, this is where the pop-up piece used to come and they put the screen there. So show us what you did. Well, Debbie, it really solved three problems for us. One is when you want to use your sink, where do you put this thing? On the floor. Yeah, on the floor, you trip over it and stuff. And you really don't want to cut on it. It's Corian. It's not a real cutting board. So my wife wanted the tilt-up counter. And uh, if I wasn't able to make it, she wasn't going to cook in here. I would be doing the cooking. So I thought, let's make a picture frame to where this piece of Corian will fit in. So when you want to use your sink, you tilt this up, take your Corian, place it in, press it in. And then she has a real cutting board that we cut the edge off of and it fits right in the sink. So now you have a real cutting board, you have an extended cabinet, and your sink is still half open so you can use your faucet. And wow. when you're done with it, let's suppose you wanted to, there's plenty of room to come in, but if you wanted more room, didn't want to take it down, I made it tight enough to where it will stay. So until you move the RV, it's perfectly fine. Always gives, gives you a little leverage to pull it out. Take your real cutting board, put it back in the sink. Take your Corian sink cover, put it back in. You're ready to travel. Have you shown this to anyone at Pleasure Way? <laughs> They're going to see it pretty soon. <laughs> well, they should for, you know, $68. It would be a good improvement for yes. their uh, and, and uh, uh, Larry sent me all the parts that you would need to build this thing. But tell me a little bit more about it. How did you, and how did you get the stain color so perfect? You know, I really lucked out there. I did write, uh, email my Pleasure Way representative, and he sent me back the exact stain that they use. Oh. Now, I'd have to order it through an authorized dealer like Beach Cities or order it from the manufacturer. It took a long time. So I just went down to Rockler Woodworking, and I picked out a stain. It happened to be white. And... I stained the unit. It looked too white to me, so I let it soak in, then I got a rag with some paint thinner on it, and I rubbed very hard, and it pretty much came out exactly like the cabinetry. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Wow. And this just looks like a, like a one by three, and then this is some kind of a, is this, yeah. a, is this a one by three that you round it off? I think this began at two and a half inches. This began at one and a half inches. I'm, I'm handy with tools. So I made this picture frame for me. Now this can be modified in many ways and people out there, should they choose to build one, I'm sure will improve upon it and find different ways. But I would say you could go down to your local Michaels or Hobby Lobby, take your Corian, say, make me a picture frame for this. They might think you're a little nuts, but oh. once they make the picture frame for you, you can cut off the ends and just mount it to the... Oh, true. Uh, folding shelf. Or you can have them make one that's big enough, cut it in half, and you'd have one for the front and one for the back. <laughs> you got one for your friend, right. Wow. Wow. So how long did it take you to come up with this? Uh, it's about a half a day work. It was the idea that was the hard part. Again, my wife wanted a folding shelf for additional counter space. I didn't want my control unit being disabled at any time. Uh -huh. You can see when the Corian's in, it's still accessible. When the Corian's out and the shelf is down, it's just like it was never there. Right. 
Now, what I did in our van is um, I found a cutting board, a plastic cutting board that fit the opening. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a bigger sink, so they're harder to find. But um, and the and Beach Auto Sound over here that did our alarm and uh, new sound system in the van, they cut it down for me, and so I can just have them framed to fit that. Yeah, I've seen your cutting board already in videos. I'm amazed how you have it matching your Corian. It looks almost it the same. It was just luck. It was like your paint. <laughs> <laughs> just luck. I went in Walmart and I went, oh, that looks like our countertop. See, the, the problem in the ascent is there's, even with this, if, when ours is up, uh -huh. I can squeeze through, but John couldn't. Oh. And so it has to be dropped. And that's why I thought, well, the, uh, the lagoon mount might be a better option. But... Um, and we don't, I mean, we don't have this problem with the screen there, but I like the fact that um, that the cutting board would fit in there because right now I have to put it on the floor. I even thought of putting little toggles that would come over should you want to have your cutting board in there while you're traveling. Uh -huh. So I'm sure people, again, if they attempt to make these, they're going to think oh, of true. new things to put on it. True. Um, the other thing I've been thinking about is actually uh, the, the Winnebago Revel has a pop-up table here that oh. pops up off the side. Now they have a little bit more of exposed area there, uh, but I thought that might be a good spot to, so you can have a table outside. Uh, I'll bet you my wife, once she sees this yeah. video, you're going to have one of those shelves right out there. <laughs> well, that's what I'm hoping. I thought I would get you to build it and then come back and I can videotape it. <laughs> that's amazing. And what a beautiful rig. Well, thank you. Only a month old, so you have a lot, a lot of goofing off to do yet. And I'm loving this Ford chassis. I'm telling oh. you, with that eco, with John. that eco boost engine. Oh, really? And the twin turbochargers. Yeah. I was going up Cajon Pass, 85 plus, and people were slowing me down. Oh, really? And John, John, get in there so people can see how excited you were when you stood in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 And the other thing I noticed is that they've changed the fan so that the knob doesn't the knob yeah. doesn't stick down. Oh. He hits his head on this all the time because it sticks down here. Wow, like that, that wouldn't be good. No, and then of course the air conditioning you hit your head on too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then you got the lagoon mount in the rear. Yes. Nice. And much like you, I have another mount that I'm going to find a place up front to put it, so that when we spin the captain's chairs around, we can use that as morning coffee while somebody sleeps late. Well, what's this little bucket? Is that your trash? <laughs> oh, my wife is an excellent organizer, and I do remember one thing that was a very interesting. Yeah, she has all kinds of devices to save space and to serve multi-functions. There's a trash can in there, and then when you tilt it down, it has a toilet brush for you. Whoa! She got that on Amazon? Uh, yes. Okay, I gotta look for that and see if it will fit in our. Cause your your this bathroom is huge. May I see your refrigerator? Could you? Open oh, absolutely. I love this compressor compression yes. refrigerator. Oh, yeah. It's the only way to go. One, you don't have all the vents on the outside. It looks very automotive, yeah. and it's big. That is big. That it's is even big. got. A freezer. I can put a lot of ice cream up in that you freezer. Can. You can. That's very nice. Of course, the 2.0 has the teeniest, tiniest refrigerator, though. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's a really small, narrow refrigerator. I think it you know, comes like half that. But... And it's extremely quiet. Yes, um, yes, they are very quiet. Yeah. Also, the heating wow. system on this we were very pleased with. It's actually ducted throughout the cabinetry here. There's a number of ducts. Oh, nice. And so it's, it's probably pretty quiet? It's absolutely silent. Wow. Can't hear it at all. Well, one other thing that Pleasure Way did do, I don't know if Ford did it or Pleasure Way, but I know you guys have done business with Agile Off-Road to boost your suspension. Mm -hmm. This came from the manufacturer with beefed up rear suspension. It has what they call super springs on it. It's the same people that make the sumo springs. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So this thing handled absolutely amazing in those oh, high good. winds with the dual wheels in the back, the beefed up springs, and there's some computer-assisted wind device. Awesome. Can we see one more thing? The uh, sure. The back of your the uh, tailgate. Yeah, the garage. The garage is. Oh, the garage. It. Uh huh. Does that have an automatic door, or is it? Is that? It's a, a manual door. Is good. I I prefer a manual door. 
We have our roll of chairs and roll of table Oh, in you here. are kidding. My brother will be so happy to hear that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Wow. He's coming out with a, a smaller table for people like us who have no space. <laughs> yeah, they do have a smaller one. Then they have one with yes, adjustable but, legs. Yes, but too. he's going to do one that's kind of between that and has adjustable legs. And oh, now, yeah. you, now you know you don't have to keep this on, right? Uh, you can take this off. This is just held oh, on. Oh, I didn't know. Yes, yeah, so if you want a little more storage, okay. just pull it off. I've, I've confirmed this with Pleasure Way. And uh, yeah, it's just decoration. It's held on with magnets. Great. I'm going to so, give it a try. Yeah, give you a little bit more space. Now, your brother, is he associated with the roller chair? Or? He owns it. No kidding. It's his company. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you knew that. No, I did not. Oh, I... <laughs> that's so funny. Yes, yeah. I actually, I've been doing some sewing for him. Um, of parts. It's made up in Spokane, Washington. He started it wow. on in my parents' house, um, you know, way back when. So it's been 40 years or something, 30, 40 years. Yeah. I I'm telling you, for a, a chair that's about weighs nothing, these yeah. are very comfortable. Uh -huh. And when you set up the table, it's just yeah. like sitting at a dining room table with these chairs. Yeah. Now, the first table he made was aluminum. It was very expensive because it was aluminum. Oh. Um, I mean, that was 40 years ago, and, uh, but then, you know, the wood was great because uh, boaters love it. Uh, he, he also has a, yeah, he has cots, and yeah, anyway. Well, Larry, thank you so much, and I'm You're sure welcome. we're going to chat some more, <laughs> but we'll, I'll turn off the video now. Thank you. Thank you.